everybody knows the truth about the situation that's happening in their life. This album was going to either make me or, or break me. This is me telling myself the truth. Mm -hmm. You put on a performance. You wasn't playing. Well, guess what? There were just unnecessary things happened. Like even Nikki called me Nicki Minaj. Like, but was there a little bit of you that like stupid boy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For like a couple of days. <laughs> At least delete it. This is the Plus Four Four podcast. I'm ZZ Mills. Uh, yeah, what's that about? What's that all about? I'm Sideman. Music, culture, UK. This is Plus Four Four from Wondering. Wondering. Hello YouTube, you are watching the Plus 44 Podcast YouTube Highlights. If you want to watch the full thing, then head on over to wherever you get your podcasts. This is how I always check to see if interview with somebody, whether they're going to be proper honest and that. Yeah. Uh, how I do it is by, if there's definitely, if they're from anywhere tropical with good food, I ask them this question. How do, how do you feel about UK food? Basically just different restaurants that serve like <laughs> food from other countries. But that's, I do like- That's the, a valid point. That's actually a valid point. point. I do like like, English breakfast. That's like my favorite. English breakfast, breakfast is unmatched. Yeah, I feel like English like the ones in the in the in the pubs, the cafes, the cafes, yeah, the cafes. The, yeah. like the proper like yeah. builder cafes. Like yeah, when you yeah. go in there, you see the guy. Do you have black pudding? No, I've never no, had the black. Yeah. No, but no. Some people like it. Yeah, that's too far. And you slap a little plantain on it as well. Like English breakfast, but just slap a little plantain on it. Plantain, he'll say. You like plantain? Do you call it plantain or plantain? Plantain. You guys say plantain. I say plantain. Plantain. Do do. Dodo. Dodo is when you chop it up into like cubes. Yeah. I don't know why we would do that. No, no, trust me. It's, it's nice. nice. No, not the chopping, the word. The oh, dodo. That's what they call it. Yeah, that don't translate well. <laughs> that don't <laughs> The Timeless album is out. How do you feel about it? It's, go, it's, it's big everywhere. Yeah, man. It's God, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sitting on my, on my ass like you guys for like oh, for five months. You know what I'm saying? Not right. being able to do nothing. And mm. Yeah, I'm just happy to get back to what I do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I missed it so much. Being on the road for 12 years, back to back, no break. And, you know, finally having, you know, that break. A lot of times you reflect. I traveled mm -hmm, with my mm -hmm. wife, my family. Went, like, to St. Kitts for, like, two months. Nice, you nice, know what I'm saying? nice. I curated most of the album there. I picked most of the songs on the, off the album over there, you know, and then came back to Nigeria to finalize everything. It's just been amazing, the response. Um, I remember like an hour before the album came out, I got my, I prayed to God. I was like, God, I've delivered, I've worked hard. Everything is over to you. And I went to bed, woke up, breaking so many records and people love it. Do you ever get nervous? Of course, like everybody would. They're still releasing. It's just like asking if like, Messi was nervous when But was really playing. though Because I feel like Your following is so strong Yeah Like people proper No but it's, even your following You don't want to disappoint Your following True true I'm true Right like, right okay yeah It's still music You still mm -hmm. want them to like it mm -hmm. And as you grow The bar changes in it When you first start What you would be happy with You're not happy with now mm. And I think once you're oh, As big an artist as you You can be considered As falling off mm -hmm. For just not doing as well Yeah as You know it's still yeah. In the amazing bracket yes, Yeah yes. It's true, Yeah it's true it's yeah. Actually, yes, 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 It's true yes. it, Like there was so much pressure Like I had to tell us You stop DMing me When the album comes out You guys should go and Figure it out <laughs> The album's coming out on Friday Blah 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 Especially when they are Really into it And I, you know And nice It's like a whole other thing On social media Yeah 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 Where the other people's fans Will be like ah, On Friday don't worry Maybe you are abusing our album No because like, Have you ever seen Twitter space with like African artists Your Twitter following It is crazy It's crazy Like when they go ham They go ham And mm -hmm. I get what you mean Like somebody from that camp Doesn't yeah, like really? it's, Yeah It's crazy go, to like boycott the album yeah, they, no it's crazy like no. they leaked my album yeah, they leaked it yeah somebody got a wind of the album and, and just like okay for example like these standships mm. obviously my fans now I can't get to all of them but mm. there's one person I can call and be like yo talk talk to them tell them to calm down like that type oh, really? of stuff okay cool that's kind of cool so like before the album came out I, call, I called one of them I was like look last time I dropped my album you guys like were just bashing everybody so when it was like my turn to come out right there were just unnecessary things happened like even Nikki called me Nikki Minaj little baby were like yo why are you why are these like the other fans were DMing them oh, why, did you, why did you do a song with David Doe oh my god <laughs> Crazy. Have, you, have you watched Swarm no no I haven't you watched that like one episode this is just like yeah, that yeah yes that's oh, the, the girl was a fan it? and yeah. I, I made a video and I said yo artists need to start telling their fans yo you love me too much I love you but love me less because yes. if you're going to start that bashing other people for me, that's so too much. Now. So like before yeah. the album came, I said, look, I don't want any, any, I was like, look, I was even with Whiskey earlier this week. Mm. So just so chill out. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to tweet anybody or say, uh, this yeah. one is past. If you like it, just say you like it. Because I won't lie to you. I won't say effects sometimes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I remember this one for a fact, like when they were tweeting Nikki, like basically made her not even do the video. Because it's a mental wow. thing. Like if I'm sitting on my phone, I'm like, ah. Yeah. If I do, if I go to Tanzania, for example, and I do a song with an artist there, and yeah. I get back home, mm. and I'm seeing like hate comments mm -mm. from maybe the artist I did a song with, he has a rival, yeah, yeah. and they are mad that I came, and yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It can change your line yeah, of yeah, thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? So, like, I learned a lot from like my previous album. Right, okay. And this is my first album where I didn't feature any US artists. Right. And was you... Was oh, any international artists. I just featured like people I know and like Africans. Was that I don't deliberate? I consider Skepta like, he's like mm. my Nigerian brother, so... Was that a deliberate thing? Like, I want to um, just focus yeah, on... I yeah, think. two reasons why. Not only because I didn't really want the stress of like clearing music. I just wanted to put out music that like I have just done. Mm -hmm. And then first of all, I didn't even have time to travel to go and be saying, oh, well, I just did this song, I did this song. Wanted to do something very different with this project, which was just like have mostly David on it. You know, so it's been a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's my highest chance in album. That's crazy. I heard him say, I don't need them, man. <laughs> Did you hear him say that? Basically, I didn't yeah. hear, I, I'm just like to translate, but that's what I heard him say. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm more excited about collaborating with my fellow Afrobeat yeah. artists. Yeah. Man, you know what I'm saying? What made you decide to do a collaboration with Skepta? They always say, oh, they build us really collaborate with like UK artists, blah, 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 always in America. I remember they say that. So, me and Skepta, we should have been made music for years now. Right. You know what I'm saying? But funny enough, like, we didn't really start speaking to like three years ago. Really? Yeah. We've never had the opportunity to see. Right, okay. To even know whether we would be cool or not. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. And so, I think we met up in Lagos one funny time. We were having a conversation and the conversation ended up being for like 40 minutes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just spoke about a lot. We just see that we had a lot of things in common, funny enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you just pull up even when I'm, when I'm in London, randomly, like just pull up on me in his Rolls Royce. And from there, I was like, yo. I wish Skepta would just pull up on me. <laughs> this is my next album. We, <laughs> we have to get one. We have to get one. So I sent him the record and, you know what I'm saying, he sent it back the next day. Yeah. How do you feel about Afrobeats now, where it is? Because like you said, you've been doing it for 12 years. When yeah. you started 12 years ago, yeah. it wasn't as hot and everyone wasn't trying to kind Crazy. of jump I on mean, it. As definitely, that. like UK was like one of the first places to, yeah, yeah. to take on Afrobeats. Um, but it was like UK, it was always locked up in UK. But like for it to where it is now, like we have our own festivals, you know what I'm saying? We're charting on Billboard. Mm -hmm. When I was in school in America, even before I started music fully, I used to play like back then, P Square, the Banj. I used yeah. to play their music in my my dorm. Mm. They would come and be like, ah, yo, what's that? I was like, yes, yeah, the Banj is, um, they are like big artists. That you're like, yo, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? So I always knew that if they had the opportunity to listen to it, mm. they'd like it. Mm -hmm. You just have the opportunity to listen to yeah. it. Yeah. You play something in New York on radio three times, then you start getting demand because if they hear it, they're going to like it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I always knew that eventually, like, Afrobeats... It was inevitable. Yeah, it would reach where it was. But now, it's like, every year, is just some bigger and stuff. Like, 10 years, yeah. on, 10 years ago, we would imagine people doing stadiums internationally. It's got its own ecosystem now. It don't need another ecosystem. Yeah, we need hit. to own it. We need to own it. Yeah. I, saw, I saw an article the other day. The impact that hip-hop used to have on the world is not It's not the same. And almost like Afrobeats is becoming that new thing where... Yo, I remember like, and, and like somebody tweeted it. I think Leo Duvall tweeted it and then people got mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, we also need to be careful because you don't want to step on their toe. Other people, yeah. yeah. Before they start pressing some buttons, our numbers yeah, yeah. are looking yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start pressing them buttons. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? But it's amazing. It's a different feeling. If you go to yeah. any party, it's going to have Afrobeats. Yeah. Yeah, once yeah. they're playing normal music, like once yeah. they put on that Afrobeats, yeah. the drink that you drunk, you drank, it will be working more. <laughs> because the sound <laughs> and the natural feeling and it's just, it's just beautiful to see. What is it like as an artist that has been doing this for as long as you have in with so much of the new tactics, platforms? Because your songs are going big now mm -hmm. on TikTok. Yeah. And you've embraced that. What is it like embracing? Yo, they didn't have to tell me twice. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. I said, okay, I come and tell you, yeah, what is this influence up here? Oh, yeah, what is going on? Like, by the time they opened everything for me, I'm like, yo, it's changed. Mm. Back in the days, we just drop, have our talk tweet our song or drop it on Instagram yeah. and it's gone. Now it's like, yo, you gotta do promo. It's crazy. You wanna have pop-ups in different cities, mm. merch, touring. Mm. Yo, it's like a whole nother game right now. Like, This is me telling myself the truth. Mm -hmm. This album is going to either make me 
or breaking. Or breaking. Right. And that was people don't want, wouldn't want to say it to me to my face. Mm. Everybody knows the truth about the situation that's happening in their life, whether they want to lie to themselves or not. So a situation when I was recording this album, I was like, man, is I like going to go like this or is I like going to go like this? So when I slept and I woke up, and you saw the good response. Ah, uh, my phone was not with me, so I was going crazy. So I, I sent everybody away. And now before the album came out, I did my prayers. I laid down on my bed, slept off. I don't overslept. Mm. I was meant to just sleep for like one hour, 30 minutes. So you needed that to sleep. Celebrate. So I now overslept and I woke up like three. Say, yeah. And yeah. I woke up there. I was looking for my phone. I was because I had a big suite. So I went to the living room. So I'm thinking, why is anybody in my room celebrating? Mm. Like, <laughs> I'm scared, like, yo, has something happened? Like, so I ran downstairs and I banged my my assistant's door. Pa, 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 pa. Come out, come out. What's going on? What's going on? Oh God, take your phone. Congratulations. Hey. <laughs> and then that night, you know, South Africa is such a vibe, man. You guys have to visit, especially like with the Ama Piano. What's your favorite song off of the album? Um, to make my favorite song is Godfather, but like obviously, like I knew that wasn't gonna be like the most popular one. Right. But you know, that's the, the song one you're feeling that, the most. Yeah. Is that annoying as an artist? Like the, your favorite song no, might you, not be no. your f- your fans' favorite the song. The favorite song might not be, but I know the songs that are gonna go commercial. Okay, that, right. That's gonna make me money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I already predicted unavailable would be the biggest one already right, okay. from when we dropped it. I knew Phil, I knew the one with Asha Care, I knew the one with Faith that's growing. I knew everything, like I kind of kind of knew. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um but no, like as long as it's your song, as long as there's David Ode, I really don't mind. Talk to me about your fashion. I love the way you dress. I was very big on like I like hip hop. Right, like, okay. Growing up, I was a big 50 Cent fan. I had G Unit sneakers, I had the game, I had, the, I had everything 50 Cent, G Unit, G Unit. So I always love like rap. Right. So everyone always says like my swag is like a rapper. No, I like it. I'm trying. Would you take David? Uh, David, no, it's it's okay. David's fine. David, uh, I need you to take David on like a shopping spree or something because obviously. Where do you want to go? Can you see what he's wearing? I like chill clothes like this. Oh, he said he likes it. He said it's fine. But I obviously I want him to do better in life. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so can you take him? What, Obviously, time's tight, but next time you yeah, come we back... Do, yeah, we should do that on vlog. David, don't take oh, side work shopping. Yes! <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll style you. Yeah, oh my gosh. I'm, the, I'm pretty the, sure... The hey, issue is, listen, listen, schedule. We going Amazon shopping. will... Li- we wait, they will send the whole camera crew. They would love that content, I'm the telling you. The issue is that I can't maintain that. I'm going to look good for one day. That's fine. Don't yo, worry. It's fine. <laughs> like, that's my problem. It's fine. <laughs> like, it's bad because when you when came in, because I've got a new understanding of rapper chains or artist chains. Oh, okay. Because one time I was doing a shoot with Mist right. and he asked me to hold his chain. <laughs> so I went and I put the chain around my neck and I realised you, you your neck has to be prepared for what's going on there. <laughs> you, can't just, you can't just have a regular neck and be, be wearing They're heavy. Even when I'm performing, I take them off now. Because it's too much. Yeah. It's too heavy, yeah. It's kind of heavy. Like with this run, I'm going to win a lot of African, okay, nice. African designers, mm. especially with this like next tour. But there's some amazing dope stuff that people are making from back home. These people copy it. These well, this designers is, is, copy uh, Yeah, exactly. 100%. Definitely. You went back to uni after starting music. Yeah. I was forced back to uni. I knew it. <laughs> I, I was literally about to ask, Did were you forced? I would say I was forced. I was kind of bribed. I mean, you would, <laughs> you would say you were forced because you said it. I was kind of bribed. You know, we bribed um, you? My dad, man. Um... My dad is just big on education. So yeah. like, when I first ran away, you know, I was in London. The first place I came to when I ran from home was London. Okay. But yes. London's like second home for you. Yes, I was in Malik Berry. Ask him. I'm the, I'm the first person to know Malik Berry. I introduced Malik to, to his. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Right, but I said... I used to go church. I used to be, when I used to church girl, okay, okay, okay. it was all in like the same, the same type of world. Oh, yeah. Time ago. So yeah, so I, from there, I, I came back to Nigeria and then my dad wanted me to go to school. So I was like, it wasn't, it wasn't it for me. Right, okay. He's mm-hmm. like, okay, if I go to school, he has one land not far, he'll build me a studio. But as you go to school, like Mondays to Fridays, okay, and then on weekends, walk in the studio. Hmm. I'm like, wait, what do you mean? So where will I wear? He said Ogun State. I went to Ogun State, another state. Okay. Outside Lagos. So I, I'll go, I, I, I can come home every other weekend. Okay. So if I go Monday, I'll stay in school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Another Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but to that Friday, then I can go home. Okay. So I walk in the studio, but it was the it was a world class studio. You give me money to like shoot some videos. So I was like, okay. That's a good. That's a good. So, 
So my plan Exchange, was like, I was no? like, yeah, yeah, my my deal was a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> go or we will beat you. <laughs> like, it was very like the so contract got, was simple. Yeah, so I'd I signed it with my blood. It was like, yeah. So I'd go to school. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it for like three months, and then once I shoot my video, I'm dipping again. Right. That was like my mindset. So I finally made the song, Dami Duru. When I made it, I dropped it, and then I went back to school. So when I went back to school. My friend just called me. I said, what happened? The man. He said, ha, that you went to club last night too, that they played that with the road. Everybody's going crazy. I said, eh? <laughs> I said, so my song is blown in Lagos. <laughs> I just went upstairs. Packed your ba- stuff. Ba- ba- <laughs> the person I was, listen, when I went to school, my dad puts me in the same house as the, the school owner. The, the vice, the oh, vice so, chancellor. Right. So this is my, this is the vice chancellor's room. This is my room. That's mad. So, because normally in Nigeria universities, you can pay like the, house people to let you go to the city. Okay. So my daddy made sure he puts me opposite the guy. So when that guy is going to work every day, he will knock my yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I once, oh. they, once they just told me that my song is not going, I, I just went there. David, I didn't was David, I didn't pack my load. I said, I'm going to Lagos. So from there, I kind of like blew up. So like, we now, me and my dad now figured out a way for me to do like part-time. That must have felt. Then after like two late. years, I finished all my classes. Obviously, your dad's proud of you, but does, is you see like with like Caribbean parents, African parents, I feel like they're always proud of you, but they there's always that, that other side with like, nah, because no, nah, or he's just he's just because like even me being David, we haven't made enough money yet. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me, <laughs> being, me being David not, has yeah. opened a lot of things for me. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm David. Family. No, he's David also. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't we haven't reached there yet. <laughs> so like I, I'd say like. Of course, like my dad has a lot of money, but money is not everything. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There are some doors that I know that me being David O has opened open. for my family. Yeah, yeah. right. That's true. You know yeah. So like, I don't think he's thinking of it like, oh, rah, rah, rah. like we, I blew up way beyond the expectations. What's your relationship like with social media? Because you interact with your fans for your stories. Funny enough, like I'm very big on tech. I'm like since I was in school, like I'm Mm -hmm. a very big tech guy. Even since the days of like MySpace, Mm -hmm. MySpace, MySpace MySpace was the best one, you know. Oh my god, and you had the top five friends. I'll put 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 all my songs like then. Like it used to be on MySpace. I used to be the one like, okay, come, let me set up your page. I used to be the tech Uh, guy. Okay, okay. okay. So social media, do the the codes. Have you sick backgrounds on your MySpace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) So like with social media, like. Apart from even just being a musician, everybody knows I have another side of me, mm. which is like, you know, I let people into like my life, make some funny little skits here and there. But I know how to use the social media. Mm. A lot of artists do. And yeah. I always tell them, oh, you guys are wasted millions of followers. It's like, basically, we have you basically have a channel that people can watch yep. right. at any time and mm-hmm. use it. So I've always been definitely like for social media. It really gets you in trouble a lot of times. How do you cope with the trouble sometimes? I always tell people like social media, like, gets you in so much trouble mm. so now my social media now is strictly for business yeah. like I don't even want to be posting like personal too personal stuff there even with like RIP to um, aka you know just passed from South Africa like mm-hmm. it was from the social media like people knew where he was you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, it's good and bad yeah, side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 100%. People seem to want artists now to speak on social issues. What do you think? Especially of the, like what, politics. Yeah, mm-hmm. what do you think about that? The reason why I feel like they want people to speak because they feel like, you know, we're public. They want to, first of all, they want to know our opinion mm-hmm. on things. But think about it. You're talking on Twitter. For example, you're a regular person. You're talking on Twitter. You're mm-hmm. tweeting about politics. You're tweeting about blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You have what? 1,000 followers. Mm-hmm. If you tweet anything, what's, what what damage is it going to cause? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. But if I go and say my real mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. people that are not even thinking the same as me, yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah. they're, they're fans. Yeah, they would, yeah. So I was just like, you know, and I've spoken in the past about politics in Nigeria mm-hmm. and I got bashed for it. I see it quite, that happens a lot. Like a lot of artists will speak out on yeah. whatever they think is yeah, right, but, right or wrong and they get, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but what made me first get into, you know, my uncle, who's a governor now, mm-hmm. you know, he had an election in 2018 and, um, we won that election and they changed it. And then the other, the dude did it four years. So we came back and then we won because the, the, the margin was too much this time. Mm. So we won, we got it. So it was from then I started involving myself in Nigerian politics. You know, I just feel like if it's just, it's just a lot. Yeah, it's too much pressure, man. I'm, I'm not, I'm not with it. I would talk about anything I feel like talking about. Not, not that I don't have personal but views. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just feel like yeah. I don't see me yeah. just going somewhere just yeah. talking about it. If, if yeah. I don't feel it first, I'm not going to make social media make me feel that pressure. The reason why is because you don't care about me. 
That's how I feel. That's yeah. how I feel about like like you don't care about me, so I have to care about me first. Do you get I me? Mean? Because you you just want me to go out there and say what you yes, want me to exactly. say. But yeah. you're not thinking about the other side of people that are gonna come at me and I'm gonna be dealing with that. Because some things with social media, they live with you. Like sometimes yeah. you'll have somebody hit you in the DMs about something you thought you was over. Like it's not, it's not like years 10 years ago. ago that people forget. This one, they will bring it back. Oh my gosh. See, any, anything we do now on social media, you know, it's our, our great grandchildren are going yep, to gonna say, It's literally immortal. Do you know now. what my worst nightmare is on social media? When you tweet something and then someone retweets and say, this you. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That is my worst nightmare. Sometimes before I even go to speak on things, I'm like, mm, what have I said about this before? Or like, sometimes you type, you go check it, you type your name yeah, 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 and somebody's check. name and make sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a, you type Yo, it's sometimes. so funny, just like social media. So I signed, I don't want to say the artist, mm -hmm. but I signed one artist, right? And I think he had tweeted something crazy about me. Mm -hmm. Oh no. And That's this is mad. an artist that I just signed, that his life is in my hand. That's mad. These fans want to go and find it. No, we don't want you to sign. You're not with DM David o. You're not mm -hmm. with our label again. Mm -hmm. I said, bro, this guy said this thing when he was a this, kid. Yeah, 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 14 man. years old. You understand? And he came to me and was like, oh, please, uh, he hopes it's not going to change anything. I said, no, come on. Like, I understand social media. But was there a little bit of you that, like, stupid boy? Yeah. <laughs> for, for like a couple of days. At least delete it. <laughs> no, you know, he, I think delete it. For like a couple of days. I was like, <laughs> do you think, when, because you said you don't know where you'll be in four years, yeah. like, we saw Drake in an interview. Like I feel like I feel I, I know the, the one yeah, with you yeah, know Yadi. Yeah, he was talking about. Yeah. I feel that kind of way sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm really happy about how this album is doing because it's like it's a milestone. So it's like mm. it's kind of you know what I'm saying probably drop one or two more albums and then I really want to build creatives. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I, I really right. want to like I was telling them, I really want to have like a big creative hub in Nigeria, like a big media city. We just dope creatives everywhere, musicians, artists, producers, blah blah. That's the that's the that's the mindset. that's what I'm thinking for like in five years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to give like youths like opportunities to have podcasts. I want to build a whole studio. Mm. I want to have a radio station. I want to do a TV station. Nice, nice, I want to have nice. a studio where I'll be producing movies, short films, series. So there's a lot in the plan, you know. So after you know, obviously my music, but I want to tour the world definitely like two, three times again. You know, what I'm saying like, wow. my favorite parts of the job is touring. Yeah, because there's nothing. I, I always say nothing beats that in all of entertainment. Nothing beats having people say words back to you that uh, you wrote. No, no, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And especially you're, you're a proper performer. Like yeah, you get, like we don't even we get we get, get we, yeah. we sweating. Yeah, we you're, sweating, you're not bro. playing. Yeah, you're doing. Even, yeah, we be taking a shower after the show. When <laughs> I saw you at O2, I was like, you put on a performance. You wasn't playing. But guess what? You see how big O2 is. I know. Do you know I prefer the smaller shows? Really? Yeah. Because it's more intimate. It? I mean, obviously, O2 will always be crazy. Ah, yeah. Mm. But the smaller shows, yeah, more intimacy. And I don't know. I just prefer the smaller shows. Especially for this album. Like, I want to perform new songs to a smaller crowd. But that smaller crowd is going to magnify. Yeah, because when you're in them bigger things, it's why I don't, you know, I don't like going to, like when you have boxing matches. Right. I'd rather watch it at home. Oh, so because you, so so you can, I can see, see the angles. Yeah. You I can only see one angle and that's the thing. And I feel like at those... <laughs> bigger shows unless if you're, you're like, like ringside it's unless not, you're like ringside yeah, yeah. yeah and when not. you're and when you're on stage at something like the O2 people must look like dots no but it's the it's the atmosphere no no but can I tell you like every time before the O2 like so I've done two uh, entrances the first entrance I had to go like under this thing but mm -hmm. you gotta wait for like 20 minutes like only me mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to wait like 20 minutes to be able to get it right yeah, you know, yeah. the lights go off you run in you gotta get everything ready so this time this last time I was on top, so I'm looking down. Oh yes, you was, you was. So I'm looking yeah, down yeah, for like yeah, 30 yeah. minutes and like people are just like, oh, they love me. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, she follows me on Insta. I don't know what her page is, but she follows me. I reckon then, your mom's muted you. My dad used to send me like all the blogs, things about me until they spoke about him. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, now you don't want to send me. <laughs> You're the youngest of five. My siblings love me. That's crazy. Usually yeah. somewhere along the line there's going to be some jealousy, some hate. The people are so nice. Hospitality, mm. 100%. Well, I've never seen something so perfect. Really? It was like, they like rehab and therapy for me. Right. Uh, it's of your magnitude. How many times per day do you want to talk about something, but then you, you go and write it out and you think, nah, let me leave it. So 
before we go, make sure you check out all the new releases this week across the Plus 44 playlist on Amazon Music. You can download the Amazon Music app or just ask Alexa. As well as the main Plus 44 playlist, we also have the R&B playlist, the rap playlist and the Afro playlist. This month on Plus 44, we are celebrating independent artists. So if you need tips on how to break through the music industry, make sure you are following at Plus 44 UK on Instagram. You have been listening to the Plus 44 podcast from Amazon Music with me, Sideman. And me, ZZ Mills. Listen to the Plus 44 podcast wherever you get your podcasts or listen early and ad-free on Amazon Music. Plus 44.